Mr.Fighthack.com here with Julian Williams, J Rock. What's going on, bro? What's up, bro? How you doing? I'm all right, man. How excited are you for the fights tonight, man? I'm pretty excited. I want to see, uh, I'm here to see Jerron Anderson, my man Kyron Davis on the undercard. For the main event, a lot of people saying Tank is going to walk right through him, man. Do you think that's going to be the case? No, I don't think it's going to be a walkthrough. I think that boy come to fight, but I think he's going to beat his ass, though. He's going to force him He's going to force him to beat his ass. Knockout or? I think he's going to stop him. Gotcha. Now, you know, I'm pretty sure you saw it because your boy Jerron is usually cooler than the other side of the pillow, man. But the other day with him and Rashidi. Yeah, I like it, though, because it, <laughs> it, it, uh, it showed a different side of him that I ain't ever seen. I've been around Jerron for a minute. Exactly. He's normally a calm, chill, quiet, mm -hmm. calm kid, but I like it, though. So, I mean, you know, if he wins tonight, he wins the interim belt, but obviously he won't spend. But the other part of you say, nah, let me see that Rashidi fight, like, man. What's up, bro? I like to see... Uh, I want to see him fight the biggest fight possible. Mm -hmm. But if he can't get the biggest fight possible, I'd like to see him go through, uh, get Rashidi Ellis. That's a good fight. Our favorite boots, but that's a good fight. Do you think Rashidi is the guy to really test boots? Because no, this fight's been going like 30 seconds, man. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, I don't know. Rashidi Ellis can fight, though, bro. He ain't no, uh, he got self esteem. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he, ain't go, he ain't no lay down. Our favorite boots to beat him. But it'll be a real fight. I, I find they both in their prime. They both African American. They both fast. Bro, that's a good fight. Now, let me ask you this, man. Because, you know, Spence has three of the belts. Um, he could be moving up. But, you know, Spence is the type of dude that's like, yo, I want to fight everybody, man. If somebody's talking crazy, I yeah. want to fight him anyways. Do you think Spence would just say, like, hey, I know I want to move up. I want to fight Crawford, but they talking about Jerron a lot. I don't know. Man. That's a, that's a, that's a, I don't know. We're not waiting to see. We have to wait and see. Everybody's speculating right now. How do you think he would do at 154 on um, Spence? I think he'd be fine. Become, become a world champion at 154, man? Yeah, or is that sure. kind of hard? No, that's not hard. I think for sure. Would you favor him over everybody at 154? I ain't going to say moment? all that, man. At the top level, man, them just got to fight and get in the ring. For sure. Yourself, 160. How you liking it up there? I ain't really for nobody yet. What you know what saying? Saying? How about this? I, it's easier to make the weight. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'll tell you that. So I will say that. But still, I mean, you look sharp. You look yeah. really good. Everybody yeah. online was really talking about you. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you saw after your fight, Spence was like, yo, J-Rock, when he's cooking, yeah, that yeah, boy yeah. could go, man. Yeah, for so, sure. Yeah, seen it. yeah. I'm pretty sure you probably want a title shot up there, man. How far away do you think you are from getting one up there, man? Uh, I'm not you, sure, you are, man. You are a name, man. Yeah, for sure. I'm not sure how far I am, but I do think I'm going to get a shot. I think I'm going to get a shot. I don't know who I against. I'll get a shot against somebody. I don't know against who, but I'll get a shot against somebody. Do you want that title shot sooner rather than later? Or you want to get your feet wet first? Then? Nah, bro. I'm in, I'm in this game to win world titles. My, I, I got 37 pro fights. I got like 80 amateur fights. I've been pro for four, since 2010. I, my feet wet. My feet been wet. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? What I'm waiting for. I don't say that because, you know, the setbacks before. Nah. Just yeah. Back. Yeah. 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 You know, I remember when I talked to you, you said you wasn't going to go to 160. You were just like, I'm going up there to test it. I'm not really sure if I like it yet, but now that you did officially test it, though, do you feel like, okay, this is comfortable, even though you didn't really fight like the top level yeah, guys? Yeah, uh, I, I, I knew it would be comfortable because, like I said, it's easier to make weight. I don't think you guys you guys don't put enough emphasis on making weight because mm -hmm. you, you gotta. It's, it's not a knock on y'all, but something you got to go through to know what it feel like. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're cutting off 25 pounds or 20 pounds in the camp. You know what I'm saying? You got to go perform in the end. You know what I'm saying? So an extra six pounds is a big deal. You know what I'm saying? So I feel a lot better. So with a part of you kind of smiling when you was making that way for that fight, like, shit, man, I should have been up here a little yeah, while ago. Right. Yeah, I mean, got to eat a little breakfast. I'm like, I was cool. You know what I mean? That's a big deal, bro. You get a drink before weighing. Um, do you plan on going down to, I, I think it's going to be in Vegas with um, Breadman to help train um, Caleb Plan, or are you just going to kind of watch him? Uh, it depends bit? on what I'm doing, where I'm at. It depends. Mm -hmm. It depends. How do you kind of think that's going to play out between Caleb and um, Benavidez, man? It's a hell of a fight. It's a good fight, man. It's a good fight. Like I said, at the top level like that, you know, I got to get in there and fight in the ring, man. I can't sit up here and say, you can't uh, compare opponent. Do the component, uh, opponent comparisons, you can't do that. Those guys got to get in the ring and fight. It's going to be a great fight, though. And just last thing, at 160, who do you consider the top guy? And I ask you that only because when you tell me who the top guy is, I'm going to know that's who you're aiming for. Yeah. Uh, no, that's, yeah, yeah. Triple G is the top guy. He got the most belts. He got the most, he got the biggest name. You know what I mean? He got all the legacy to come with him. You know what I mean? So I think he's still the top guy. Think he slipped, though? I don't want to say he's slow. I think he just got older. By the time beating everybody, everybody going to get old. You know gotcha. what I'm saying? 
But uh, he's a Hall of Famer. He's a great fighter. And uh, I got a lot of respect for him. Gotcha. Appreciate you, brother. Yep, thanks.